culture. And um, first, I want I want to thank all of you for being so so kind and so so generous with your your knowledge and, and your healing uh, modalities, as we would say. Um, I, I'm always very impressed talking with uh, Dr. Vivek because um, he does something that I really respect in people is that you share your knowledge very generously and very graciously, like, and you don't you don't try to keep anything a secret or act like you know he's he's just very open and very communicative uh, about anything, and I, I, I really value that in people. Thank you. Um, and it's rarer than it than it should be, you know. Um, so. One of the first things he did was um, check my, my pulse, my hands, and he was able to determine from that that I was a vata, uh, prakriti, prakriti, personality type or body type, which is something that I think I had um, kind of measured before based upon like a questionnaire years ago. So, you know, I, I, I knew that he was um, reading that accurately. And, um, you know, that's good information to have because it does. And, and from that, he was able to go right to the more um, vulnerable parts of my body because of my temperament. There are certain parts of my body that, you know, under stress, they're going to react more than other parts of my body. So, you know, it, that was, I think... Um, a good work through on the potential trouble areas. And, and, and it's so important to see how the vulnerable parts of the body are interconnected with the type of personality you have and the way that you live your life and the way that you nourish yourself. It's all interconnected. You know, you can't just pull something out and treat it. You have to look at the whole system. And I think that's where um, Ayurveda has, um, you know, really big benefits over the very quantitative Western, you know, profit-driven Western system. Okay, so we did that, and, you know, we talked about some of my medical history, and, and again, you know, he's very open, very sharing, very generous with his knowledge, and that right there is, again, a huge benefit over Western medicine, because in Western medicine, you sit there and you wait for hours for the doctor, because he's always got something more important to do than you do. And when you finally do get into an exam room and the doctor comes in, if you talk to the doctor for 90 seconds, that's a lot. That's a lot, you know? So I think the most important part of healing anything <clears throat> is human interaction and caring. And, you know, the guy will sit and talk with you in depth about, you know, not just what's hurting you, but how it's all interconnected with every aspect of your life. That is, that is the most vital part of healing, and it's something that the science has kind of driven way over to the side in Western medicine. You need human interaction. You know, God heals, but God heals through, through people. So it's the same thing when we went into the treatment room. You know, they, and they say this about astrology. I'm an astrologer. Everybody says, even if it doesn't work, the fact that you sit down and you talk with a person and you look them in the eyes and you talk about who they really are and how they were, that's healing. Yeah, healing. That's, that's healing. healing. And that's, I think, a large part of what you get in the, the therapy room is that, you know, people are caring for you and you're getting treatment. You're basically transferring your energy, positive energy. Yeah. To me. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's not a mechanistic procedure, it's not driven by profit, there's a genuine level of caring and hands-on and you're trying to get the patient to relax very deeply and create a comforting, warm, relaxing mood for that. And all of that facilitates healing and all of that is what's been driven out of, you know, the highly quantified Western medical tradition. So I think all of that is just incredibly valuable. Incredibly valuable. In the world today with the kind of pain that people are feeling and suffering that people are feeling, they need all of that interconnectivity. They need somebody who will talk to them and look them in the eye. They need a hands-on treatment that makes them feel cared for. You know, so I think all of that's really, really important. And, and there's my ride. <laughs> but thank you again.